Area University is adding to its list of health care programs. The move is designed to help alleviate a shortage here in the Joplin area, as well as across the Midwest. We find out more from KSN 16's Stuart Price. Kansas City University, which already operates a medical and dental school in Joplin, will be starting a new program in a couple of years. The school will offer a Master of Health Science in Anesthesiology. Dr. Richard Schooler says adding an anesthesiologist assistant program will help meet a need in the Joplin area and beyond. If you're having a surgery that's going to require any type of anesthetic, you have to have an anesthesia provider. So when you don't have enough, then it limits how many surgeries you can schedule that day. It amounts you as a patient, uh, or it restricts you as a patient of being able to get in to have a surgery. It may prolong your date before you can have your surgery because they just can't run enough rooms. Schooler anticipates the majority of students getting into the program will come from local universities and will want to stay in the area once they graduate and help solve a problem affecting patients' bottom line. Well, the hospitals try to offset that by hiring, uh, you might call them traveling, uh, anesthesia providers, which are extremely expensive, uh, and so that, rises, that raises the cost of care. Uh, so it affects the hospitals as well as the patients who need the service. He says program graduates will work directly under the supervision of anesthesiologists. One anesthesiologist is allowed to provide supervision over at any one time over four assistants. So in other words, you could have four ORs working at one time with one anesthesiologist and four uh, anesthesiology assistants. So it, that's how it expands care and allows the, our hospitals to be able to address the shortage. The first class for the anesthesiologist assistant program will start in January of 2026 and require about two years for students to complete. In Joplin, Stuart Price, KSN 16, your local news.